what's going on it's your boy look man coming back to you live and direct today we're going to be talking about something extremely extremely ah, i'm so excited about this thing it's about click funnel and paypal now you can now integrate paypal with click funnel seamlessly unlike before where you have to like you know go into paypal and create this product and copy this link and go back to click funnel and do you know too much problem but right now you can seamlessly just go into your click funnel and just add one or two buttons and be able to use paypal and that's what i'm going to show you guys today if you guys do not know the power of these things that means you're not really excited about your business because if you are like i am you will be excited that right now you can actually use click funnel not only you know remember before when you have to when you had to like use click Funnel and paypal you have to like go back in there and do this code and do this link and do the same thing in upsell and downsell and all of these things right now you don't have to do that anymore right now you can actually use your paypal and click for no on the down on, on the OTO, the upsell the downsell all the way down like that and i'm going to show you guys how to do it and promise me you're going to start using it today so you can start making money all right let me show you all right so the first thing you guys want to do is to get your paypal account all right of course you need a paypal account to be able to take payments with paypal so what you want to do i'm going to show you when you you want to log into your paypal account using this link that i'm about to show you use this link right here uh where is this link right here see right here where it's a paypal developer applications you click on that once you click on that it takes into your paypal when you get into your paypal you scroll down until you see what is called rest api apps then click on create app this is in your paypal account now you log into your paypal account using this paypal developer application link that i'm going to leave down below this this channel and you know i mean this video rather by the way if you have not subscribed to this channel you're going to be missing out on a lot of stuff okay because i am going to be showing you guys a lot of things that i have to pay for every month being in the two comic club x with ross bronson and some other uh mentors out there but i'm going to be giving it to you guys free of charge so go ahead and subscribe to this uh, channel and share this with your friends and family or whoever want to make money on their own all right so you have to get a business uh, paypal account if you don't have that i'm going to leave a link below that will take you there and once you do that you're going to go into your paypal developer applications and when you get there scroll all the way down you will see to the left side rest api apps and click on create app when you click on create app it's going to show you these things that you see right here just click just go ahead and enter your app name you can give your app name any kind of name and just click on create app all right once you do that you're going to, you're going to have the sandbox account and the client id and all you need is actually the client id and the secret which i'm going to show you guys what to do with it later on but do not forget to turn on where it says live just click on live and uh, do that so now you come back to your pay to your click for now all right uh, your click funnels accounts going to set it actually not set it sorry about that guys click over here where you have your picture or whatever and click on integration when you come into integration it will take you to this page right here and just click and add new integration in your click funnel account go ahead and add new integration I'm not sure why, why it's not showing on but right now it should add new integration otherwise you can just search and put paypal see where it says add new integration click on add new integration like i'm doing right now and come all the way down and you will see paypal i think it's because i've added mine but you will see a button that says paypal and paypal v2 so click on that and you integrated already so what you now want to do is to go back to the funnel that you to the funnel that you want to use once you do this you add the click on new integrations and you come down here it's going to show you the paypal and paypal v2 button mine is not shown because i already integrated mine just click on it that will show you that it's integrated now once you click on that you want to come back to where you have your paypal copy you're going to copy remember the one i showed you guys so you come back here copy your client id and click on show secrets and copy that 
and you bring that to where you're integrating on your PayPal and it's and uh, click funnels right here and it's very very straightforward I can't show you that right now because I already did mine however so let's go back once that is done you copy your client ID and you copy your secret put it on the uh, box that, that asks you to put it in here once you do that click uh, continue or save it and you're done now when you want to use PayPal on any of your funnels all you have to do is just go back and look for that funnel so I'm going to show you guys the funnels that I'll use right now to add the PayPal to the account all right because uh, right now once you do all that all those four steps that I showed you then you, you, you can use PayPal on any of your accounts all right so what you have to do now let me go over here let's pretend and see if this is a new funnel that we want to use all right the first thing you guys want to do the first thing you want to do is to clone all of this okay having created your product you know you create your products uh, let me just create a product right here for you guys to see this is the first you're gonna have the first one that uses stripe or whatever you want to use we're gonna call this test test product I can spell test product we're gonna choose stripe okay we choose stripe give an amount so the first time will be to choose one that that uses stripe if you want to use both uh, the regular credit card uh, processing plus pay PayPal if you just want to use PayPal you don't actually use to click stripe just leave it the way it is and just click on PayPal but if you want to use both stripe or brain or whatever it is with uh, with uh, 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 pay with with click funnels of course you I mean with with a uh, PayPal and other payment processor you can do that but for the sake of uh, this video I'm gonna show you both so I want to use stripe on the first one meaning I'm giving people opportunity to either pay with click for now I mean to pay with uh, PayPal or pay with my regular payment processor so let's do that first one first we have an amount over here then we're gonna say create so now we have a, an order on this regular form so what you want to do right now is to clone all of this step and to do that it's very very easy guys come back to your overview I do not want you to feel overwhelmed about that come back to your overview click on this right here that you want to clone okay you click on it and come down let us do his own thing you come down over here see where it says clone funnel step where it says clone funnel step do not click on delete funnel step all right I mean actually in another video I'm going to show you guys if you delete, delete any step in your funnel how you can actually bring it back because that's actually possible right now so click on your clone funnel and when you click on, on your clone funnel you have to pay attention to this part of your see this button was not there before it shows up because I click on clone funnel clone funnel step so because I do that this funnel shows this button shows up so because that happens now I'm gonna click add to funnel and watch what's gonna happen okay and boom this is the one that you clone remember this is the regular order form and this is the one that you clone and this is the same thing you're gonna do for all of these steps you're gonna clone all of these steps and I will show you guys that don't, don't worry but the first thing you want to do of course is to del is to make sure that you note that this is your pay part one by coming into your uh, let's go to setting over here I'm gonna change that name to PayPal so that way you know that this is the one that, that you that you created for PayPal okay <clears throat> go ahead and save whatever you do guys always make sure that you save because without that you're gonna lose your work and it's gonna be a pain to go back to it now we've cloned that step of the funnel I want to go back to my OTO that's one time offer a I am gonna clone that as well just like I did with that other one I'm gonna clone this step once I clone it look over here it's gonna come down here and say add see add to funnel I'm just gonna click on add to funnel and it's gonna show up under this other form right here you guys see that awesome awesome so let's go to this one as well you're gonna do that for all the steps because if you you want to use PayPal you're telling the system that well I have this same product but this time around I'm only using PayPal to collect payments all right so um, just bear with me guys it's it's easy and this is probably the hardest part of it and you don't have to do anything else but it's way better than what you had before where you have to go be going back and forth you know 
uh, with uh, between PayPal and ClickFunnels. And I'll show you how seamless this one is. So this other step, you clone it and pay attention to this place. It's going to say add to funnel step. You know, add to funnel. And I'm going to add that to my funnel. We're going to go to the last one is the offer wall. So this basically just, you just, you know, copy whatever you had originally on your forms, on your funnel. And I'll, I'll tell you guys the reason why you have to do that. So I'm going to clone this step as well. Once I clone this step, now I'm going to come back here and say add to funnel. And now, guys, what you want to do is remember, you have not created a product on this one, so you have to do the same thing. I mean, if you had, you know, added this before, let, let's check something right here. Let's check something right here. Let's go to our products. So you have to add your products on those steps that you uh, created. And when you add your products, you want to make sure instead of choosing the regular payment uh, gateway, you want to use PayPal V2. PayPal V2, put the amount. Remember, this would be the PayPal one, and I'll show you guys how to get it working. Put the amount and create products. Hold on, he's doing his thing. Uh, God, I said one time. So the product is created, and you have to do the same thing with your OTO, your OTO, second OTO, and your offer wall. Just go ahead and click on each of them and create your product. And once that is done, what you guys want to do right now is this. On this PayPal one, on this PayPal one, Publishing. Click on Publishing. Once you click on Publishing, see where it says Order Form? I'm going to change that to PayPal so I can know it's PayPal. Update. That's actually how to change that. So click on Publishing again. Because you have to copy a code from this one to the original Order Form to, let, to, let, to allow both of them to communicate when your customers want to use PayPal. So you come over here, like I told you guys, come over here to the PayPal, all the form that you just created. Copy that code. Once you copy that code, now come back to your original form you edit now when your original form you edit that click on edit come to show pop-up add an element here to be able to add that code add the one with just one column and the element you want to add is to come down here the very last one that says uh, CSS JavaScript HTML the custom JavaScript HTML add that click on this open that code script and dump your code that's all you got to do once you do that guys do not forget to save save right here all right and when you do that you also want to have a button right here that says pay with paypal right so let's do that let's add an element and all you want to do is add a button the button should say Click on that and come over here and just say pay with PayPal. Alright, uh, now PayPal, PayPal, guys, PayPal. And try, when you do that, click on set action and click on open pop up. Remember, we dump that HTML uh, code in the, uh, the CSS custom code in the uh, the uh, pop-up so you're gonna set this action over here to open pop-up and you come back here then save so now guys if you preview this if you go ahead and preview this
see it has the button that says pay with PayPal so if I click on pay with PayPal boom you guys will see the PayPal one shows up right here PayPal all right that means you pay with PayPal all right so when you when you put in your uh, information over here you just click you know pay with PayPal and you go you don't have to like do all those things that we used to do way back in the days see how your text products is showing remember we, we click our uh, PayPal uh, pay v2 for that one and whenever a customer clicks on pay with PayPal I'm gonna show you guys again when they click on pay with PayPal it's gonna show these uh, pop-up box and on the bottom they will have the pay PayPal button and they'll just go ahead and pay and this well, now you don't have to go to PayPal and whatever so you can do this on each and every one of the uh, items on that page and one key thing also guys is you can as well while we're here I should mention that you can only use this you can only use this on the regular other form you cannot use this on two-step other form it's not uh, designed to be used with two, two steps other form it can only be used with traditional other form so if you like this uh, video uh, do not forget to leave me you know you know leave some love below I uh, leave a comment questions whatever you want uh, want want what you guys want me to teach uh, regarding click funnels or even how to generate traffic to your uh, funnel or your site as the case may be leave me a comment below do not forget to give me a thumb up love uh, sign and do subscribe to this channel and I will be coming your way I drop videos at least two three times a week just for you guys to have all this content for free so the best you can do for me is just give me some love all right if you have questions do not forget to ask and I'll be coming back your way again go ahead and add it to your uh, funnel and start making mucho money